Hi folks, welcome to Michael's Backyard Marina. Today, we're gonna to be in the man cave kitchen. I worked on the boat all day and I want to eat something now. And I'm gonna show you how I prepare scallops. Oliver even likes scallops, you hear that? So we're gonna show you how to prepare scallops the way I cook them. Like I say, this isn't the only way, this is the way I do it. Oliver, you wanna come in here and get in the video, buddy? Crazy dog. Now one of the first things I do, once these are thawed, and they're cold still, I can still feel the cold in them, I put them on a paper towel to dry them out as much as possible, and also put one on top, like this. And you wanna let these be at room temperature for about 20 minutes to a half an hour. And it'll cook up the best. So I put this paper towel on top, and just to let it absorb as much moisture as it can. Just, we want these things to be dry. Next thing we're gonna do, poof, is light this bad boy up. We're gonna get this pan really good and hot. So I'm gonna have this on high. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in there once it's good and hot, along with a little dab of butter. And then we'll throw the scallops on. And what we're gonna do is pan sear these scallops. I'm gonna put first side, it's gonna be two minutes, two to two and a half minutes. And it'll have a nice brown uh, caramelized look on the, on the bottom side and we'll flip it over. And we'll do the other side. Hey, Oliver, you say hi to the camera? Can you say hi? Come on, say hi. Say hi. Come on. <laughs> yeah. You just got a fresh bath, didn't you? You playing in the pond, you got yourself muddy. Okay, while the pan's heating up, I'm gonna take some of this Himalayan pink salt. Grind a little bit of that on it. Yeah, I hear you. You like the pink salt too, everybody? And then we're gonna put some uh, Fresh black, cracked black pepper on here. And we'll put a little bit on the second side. Once we get the sear on. He's just gonna keep making noise, ain't he? Now we're gonna put in our butter. Put a little bit of olive oil in there with it. Keep the butter from burning too bad. Now that's good and hot. Let's go ahead and put the uh, scallops on. Once you make that sound when you put them on. The thing is sizzling and crackling when you put them on then you don't have it hot enough. And give those about two minutes. This is enough real good there. Zoom in on this a little bit. What you're going for is a nice brown on the bottom. We're getting there, Steve, real quick. He said two minutes. Then we'll flip them and give them about two more minutes to three minutes. Pop. So we're at 11 seconds left. I'm going to flip it after two minutes. It smells good. Well, that's two minutes. Now look at that. We got a nice brown going there. So we're gonna flip all these over. That's the color you're looking for right there. We'll 
put a little more seasoning on that side. Take a little butter. Whoops. Let's give it a little bit of butter on this side. Oh, that's cooking up so nice. Now, if you don't dry them off like I did, you end up with a lot more water in the pan than you want, and they won't brown up like this. You basically boil them in their own water, and they don't come out as good. And you can see the bottom now is getting the same kind of thing going on. It's not... So that moisture is cooking out of there and I'm not getting quite the sear that I'd like to get out of it. That's okay. The one thing you don't want to do is cook these too long. If you cook them too long, they'll get real rubbery on you. Still tastes good, just changes the texture quite a bit. Guarantee that one's done. You know what I mean? When it gets that moisture in there, it doesn't cook through, or doesn't. But I'm pretty sure those are done. Let's just cut one in half and see here. Oh yeah, that's getting done there. We'll pull those off. Now, what I like to do after I get them on the plate is I take a little more butter while they're still warm. Just rub some more butter around on the top of them. I know this presentation isn't perfect. It doesn't have a fancy plate. But this is the way I like to eat them. And it's really good. Well, you can probably hear behind me, I got a few more cooking up. But I tell you what, folks. That is some delicious stuff there. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You can't beat that. That is absolutely delicious. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned how to, I think I got some of my chin. Uh, hope you learned how to cook some scallops the very easy way. It's so fast and so easy and so delicious, and I shouldn't be talking with a mouthful. But it is so good. So if you like what you see, hit the like button down below. Uh, subscribe if you like what I like to see on my channel. This is only my second cooking video. If you haven't seen my omelet video, you got to go see a monster omelet that I make. Um, it's healthy, it's, you know, as far as the uh, sugars and the and uh, it's it's got just so a little bit of meat, uh, mushrooms, onions, and eggs. All pretty good stuff with a little bit of salt and pepper on it. Delicious. I encourage you to go check out that video, but also look at all the rest of my how-to videos because uh, I fix all kinds of things around here, as you've probably noticed and probably seen. But like I said, if you like it, hit the like button. Please join me again on my next video. Michael, out.